course, your last date against these guys and you were thrashed by 112 points only six weeks ago. What's the motivator? Is it revenge or respect? Straight into it, eh? Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, they're, they're a very, very good side, and them at their best are uh, uh, up there with the best in the comp, so hence why they finished second. Um, obviously, yeah, that was that was in the past, and, and um, we're in a bit of a, I guess, a bit out of a bit of form at that stage, so I feel like we're back. Um, the boys are, are really confident. Um, we know our best holds up against anyone, and um, yeah, we'll be, we'll be ready to go. We know that they're, they're fired up. Um, they obviously played off a bit of emotion last week, and um, yeah, it's a, it's a very nice time of the year to be a part of record extends back eight years. How do you ensure that doesn't play on your mind heading into Friday? Oh, each year you have a completely different team, so we don't look too far backwards. Uh, we look at what they do, and um, especially the last couple of weeks, and especially, yeah, their, their last couple of weeks coming into finals. So um, no, we won't let it play in our minds. We move on from it and know that our best is, uh, is up there with the best, and there's plenty of belief within this group. When you think of those last matches, do you, do you think there's some recurring themes there? Is there pressure around the ball? What do you think goes there? Yeah, that's, that's finals footy. Um, really contested, hard physical games, um, high pressure. And um, yeah, it's, the, it's those key pillars that make a good side and really consistent um, and, and hold up in finals. So we know it's going to be important. What's the main thing <coughs> that you learned out of round 21? Um, for, uh, when okay, we played? Sport, yeah. Um, Oh, I think we need to get the contest right. They they beat us around the around this, especially around the ball, um, and then in the air as well. They they took plenty of grabs, and um, when we can get on the ground and 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 I guess hold the corridor and, and use the ball well, um, we're hard to beat. You guys are feeling hopefully fresh after that week off. How are you feeling? How's the body feeling and the nose feeling after <laughs> that, that Giants game? Oh, it's big enough. It keeps getting in the way. This thing. Um, no, I feel good. I feel good. At um, we obviously have played pretty well the last few games and um, it was nice to, we've always got that belief, um, especially late in games, that we can run games out really well. We're, we're a fit side and um, when we play our team style of footy, it's, like I said before, it's hard to beat and, and we did that, especially in the second half against the Giants and um, we know we need to start well against Port um, and yeah, we, we'll be up for it uh, from the get-go. I know it's not something you'll be focusing on, but game 200 this weekend, it's a, it's a big occasion to bring up a milestone like that in. Yeah, it's um, it's a it's a special club to, to do it for. I'm I'm so grateful and, and humbled to be able to do it for the Swans and and coming from Newcastle, playing NRL, playing everything growing up in Newcastle. Um, I never thought I'd play 200 games for uh, in in a professional sport, let alone for the Sydney Swans. And uh, to do it in a in a big final in front of home crowd is, is something pretty special. You're the first Swans product, <coughs> Swans Academy product to reach milestone. How do you reflect on that? I didn't even realise that. Um, no, that's, that's pretty that's pretty special. It's um. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice one. We've got plenty of young, um, really good academy products coming through and um, obviously stars of the game as well in, in Errol, Lizard, um, Braden and whatnot. So, it's, uh, yeah, to, the first one to get there, it's nice. And no, I didn't even know about it, but it's nice to hear. Were there any other sports that you, you thought were kind of realistic for you and why did you pick the AFL? Yeah, um, oh, Newcastle was, was full of NRL, so love rugby league growing up, um, played it at school. Uh, I guess I wanted to do that up until probably the age of 14, 15, and um, it wasn't yeah, until that age that um, I was in the Swans Academy and um, could see a, a clear pathway there and, um, and loved it and, and thought I'd, I'd decide to have a crack at um, AFL and, yeah, loved it and, and wouldn't, wouldn't turn back. What position were you looking at in league? <laughs> I love fullback. Um, but also I didn't mind on the wing as well. And they, they'd kick it to me and I could, could jump and uh, hopefully take a grab, so. Yeah. Speaking of taking a grab, how many times you <laughs> your own? <laughs> oh, no. I was going to embarrass myself a few times. But, uh, <laughs> nah, um, yeah, no, it was, it, was, it was just a good, it was a good game and I, I was actually expecting to get the sit. Um, and it was lucky that, that Buckley obviously lowered me down nicely and didn't let on my head, so I'm thankful for that. You had a lot of people approaching you on the street this week. It's been yeah. New South Wales has um, has really grown. Um, like AFL in New South Wales, should, in New South Wales, I should say, has really grown over the, especially the past five years, and and they've really jumped on board um, us this year uh, here in, in Sydney. So it has been it's been something that's really nice, and I do I do love getting away from things and, and kind of being anonymous, but it's definitely popped up a little bit of late. So what is it? Just a case of like you you having breakfast in a cafe or something? <laughs> someone will like put themselves down next to you. I'm or? sure what everyone in Melbourne it, uh, it expects and and, and cops um, is kind of what it's been like of late, and it is really nice. And um, but I I wouldn't mind if it <laughs> just left us alone a little bit. Obviously, you're a key leader, a senior player in this team now. Do you like that kind of responsibility or, or taking that mantle of going, okay, I can be the guy to spark the team like you kind of did against the Giants? Yeah, it's something that um, I, I can. I guess I. I'm a competitor, so I want to. I want to crack in, and I want to be known as someone that that um, doesn't shy away from any contest and, and leads by example. And um, I'm not necessarily the most vocal uh, around the group, especially in meetings and whatnot. But on the footy field, I feel like I can. I can do that, and 
um, having the opportunity to be inside and I guess have the first crack at, at leading by example um, this year especially has been it's been really nice and I feel like I've been able to do it a few times which is which is good. No Millsy this week obviously will be a tough choice essentially who to replace him. I mean who do you, I mean how do you go about replacing a guy like Millsy when he brings so much not just in terms of footy aspect but leadership on the field? Yeah he's a he's the complete the, the ultimate professional I should say. Um, he'll be getting back as, as quick as he can and, and he yeah he Oh, he would never put his body in jeopardy. So to see him go through what he has this year is, um, it hasn't been ideal. And, and I know he's he's someone that, like you said, his his leadership on and off the field is is second to none. To be, what is he, 26, 27, and, and lead like he has for so many years is something so impressive. And I look up to. Um, and he's going to be hard to replace, but we can do it. Well, we did it for the start of the year without him, and um, he'll have his input off the field. But uh, we'll, whoever comes in and, and whoever that may be. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do a job for us and it'll be important. Just talking about responsibility. A couple more, I'm getting the wind up. Do you, Please. do you feel, I guess when games go down the wire, do you feel pressure to be that supportive match winner for the team? Um, oh, I like to have a crack and um, horse, Horse sometimes will go, all right, mate, we, we need something from you here. And whether that's me having a bit of a quiet game and he needs to rev me up to get me going or whether he just needs me to hopefully stand up and, and try and take the game um, take the game on. We've got so many players that can do that, which is, which is really nice. And you see... Over the, the back half of this year, how many boys have stepped up and you know, arguably won us games has been something pretty impressive. So um, if I can be one of those players, I love that. If not, and I can play a team role and um, do something else, then I will. The two previous prelims here have been decided by a point, hoping it's not that close on, on Friday night. <laughs> a win's a win. I'll take it. I'll take a win. I couldn't care if it's one point or, or 20. Yeah.